In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a free edition of Office Clip in Amazon EC2. So first off, you create an Amazon account and then log into it. Once you log in, you search for the service called EC2. Then, first thing you need to do is if you do not have a key pair, you need to create a key pair. So for this, you scroll down and you'll see the key pair window and just say create key pair and give it a name. So let me give a name skd-1. Now the key pair will be created and it will be downloaded also. So all you have to do now is to save it in a file which will be required later. So once the file is created, you go into the instances and you click on launch instance. Now you can search for the Office Clip instance here. So for that you need to go to community AMIs and then look for Office Clip. And go ahead and select this one, obviously basic new for now. So I click on select here. Now, we can either select T2 Micro, which is a free tier eligible. Amazon gives it for 12 months free to test out. But this one does not have enough memory and enough CPU power. So the minimum we recommend here is to use this T2 small and just say review and launch. And uh, you can verify all the other details here, like for example, storage. As you can see that we have one root storage where the operating system and the program will install. And the other one is uh, another storage we are using to store documents. And we click on launch and we need to select a key pair. So we have a key pair already selected. So this is the key pair. So now you check box, check mark this box and then click on launch. So the install is launching now and it's going to take about uh, maybe 10 minutes time to get it launched. And you can check the status of the launch by clicking in again to the services and then click on EC2. So you will see that no instances are running. So click on instances and one of them is just right terminated before and this one is pending. So you'll have to wait and keep refreshing it if you want to make sure that uh, this install is running and this initialization is gone from here. So the next thing is to launch the instance. So just select this and uh, Click on the actions here and first thing you have to do is you have to get the Windows password. So to get the Windows password, you need the key and also you need the key pair path of the file which we just saved. So we click on choose file here and we click on this and we get the key pair here. Now we have to say the decrypt password here. Now we get the login ID. Uh, and password and also the public IP address and run the remote desktop on your machine and then log into Office Clip. Mm, let me 
go to the show options and let me put the username here administrator and then say connect so say connect here it will ask for the password so you'll have to paste this password here and now you can log in uh, this is the readme file here so first thing is you double click on the office clip icon and because it is uh, installing and running for the first time it compiles all the programs so it is going to take a little while to bring the screen up once you have this you can create your account Now this is going to create the new account and start Office Clip. Let's now log into Office Clip with the password we have set. Now the first time it comes up, it is going to take a while to bring up each application because when each application comes up, it compiles in the back end and then it shows the application. But every succeeding times, it will not be that slow. Now before we go any further with this application, we see here that this is the Office Script Basic Edition 10.4.2, which is the old version. So first thing we'll do is we'll upgrade it to the newest version of Office Script. So in order to do that, we follow the instruction in the same readme file we got from here. And it says that you go to here, register in Office Clip. Uh, let's do that. So I will start the Chrome here. And I will just fill up this form in order to get to the download page. And I'll have to select the install version here. And uh, okay, so I click register and login. So once I get to the download page, according to the instructions I have just read, it is asking me to select the manual install. So I'll go into the manual install here and I'll just download the manual install. So we'll go through the instructions a little bit more. So it is downloading. So after I download the manual install, I need to copy it into this folder C colon program file 686 office clip 9 and that's it it will need so let's wait for it to complete the download so it looks like it has completed the download so go over there and and i think it's still doing it so what we'll do is uh, we will right click on it and we will just extract all so once it is done uh, we go into the download folder again and get to the manual and then select all the files here and then right click on it and click on copy and then what you need to do is you need to go to c colon program file 686 office clip 9 and here you want to replace this file so I right click on it again here somewhere and then click on paste. So it's going to ask me to overwrite. So go ahead and select the check mark here and then click on copy and replace. Now again click on this and say yes. So now it is going to go ahead and replace all the files. Finally you may get this message saying that it is trying to close this folder 9 and it is it cannot do it but if you get this message just say skip here and now it will be done so now that it is copied so let's go in here again and go back to our office clip and refresh the screen so 
this was where where we are so we go ahead and this is 4.2 so we go ahead and replace it refresh it so again as you see here we'll see here this is going to take a while to refresh everything and to compile everything in the background and refresh it so you'll have to wait for a little while to get this refresh and come back and uh, when it comes back you will probably see the new office clip so finally after a while we got to this screen and now we click on next to upgrade the database so now you need to log in again and you can check here that uh, we have got the latest version and use the same password and once again you have to wait for the first time this comes up so next thing you have to do is to uh, get the new license so in order to do that go ahead and click on settings currently what we have here is the office Tip standard license which is free but if you want to get the enterprise license you have to go over here click in here to move it a little bit to the right you will see the license screen manage license and what you have to do is for managing for getting a new license just send the serial number to us and uh, we will issue a license when you get the license you can click on apply license and start using office clip for the enterprise edition and now just a few more things before we end this we have put some more programs here which you can use uh, to keep backups one we have used duplicate to do the office clip database and office clip program backup so in case this machine dies or goes bad or whatever happens here so you can go back and restore the backup and also we have put the free version of anti malware bytes so that you can run once in a while or if you wish you can uh, pay for the professional version directly to malware bytes website and uh, that's about it once you have it working you can access this url uh, what you can do is uh, you can access this url like http colon slash slash and then the ip address slash office clip from anywhere and you should be able to get access to your office clip so with that i will end my video if you have any questions just feel free to send us an email at support at thank you